Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Sashi E. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm super excited to be bringing you guys my bedroom makeover video, you guys. So as you guys know, my channel is all about hair care, skincare, body care, but I do want to implement a little bit of lifestyle into the channel. And currently in my life, I'm decorating, so I wanted to share that with you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video because I did put a lot of effort into making the space feel as comfortable for me as possible. So I hope you guys are receptive to that so when it comes to my space you guys I wanted to focus on the three C's as I like to call them so I wanted my space to be super comfortable super clean and also super cozy and the colors that I wanted to have in my space was very light color so I decided to go with white and also that accent color of gold you guys so throughout the entire room you guys are gonna see just a lot of white and a lot of gold pieces and I do have some pops of like dark gray in the scheme as well. So as far as this video, you guys, you guys are gonna basically see me put the entire room together. The only thing that I didn't put together was the bed because I did get the bed from Ashley Furniture, you guys. And for the bed, in the beginning, I was a little bit unsure of what I wanted my bed to be and how I wanted my bed to look. So I was looking online for white bed frames and they just weren't screaming out to me because I knew I wanted white sheets and I just felt like it was just too much white and I wanted some type of contrast. So when I went to Ashley's Furniture, you guys, they had this bed literally just there for me. I just felt like it was for me. And it was just so beautiful to me, you guys, and I just felt like it was calling me. So I actually got this bed. It's called the Langford Upholstered Bed. I got it from Ashley Furniture. Um, they said it was gonna take like three to six months to come, but it came in two weeks. So I was super duper happy with that. And I love the color of this bed. Um, they have it online as a gray, slash beige <laughs> color but to me it looks very beige um it doesn't look like that taupe color it looks very very beige to me but i love the sleekness of this bed it's super modern it's super big i feel like it's very different it's not a bed that you see all the time and i just feel like it went with the feel that i was going for for the room so yeah guys i love this bed i will say when the guys came to deliver the bed you guys i was like oh my goodness the bed took up the whole room it just seemed so big but once they connected the pieces and they pushed it back I was like okay this is a perfect for the, the space it's I'm still gonna be able to do everything that I want to do in the room so it worked out quite well for me so once the bed was installed you guys I actually then started to buy furniture pieces because as I said I wanted to ensure that I had enough space for everything that I wanted this bed did come with a dresser and two nightstands but I did not want them because they were just a little bit too dark for my preference it was a really really dark dark brown and I did not want that I wanted a light nightstand so I went over to Wayfair to get my nightstands so the nightstands that I chose um, are white they actually looked beige on the website but they are white and I was completely fine once I received them and saw that they were completely white because it still went with the look that I was going for so yeah the nightstands are super modern they're super sleek they were super inexpensive as well and I needed them just so that I can like have some of my clothes in them as well um, I didn't need like a super huge dresser for this space because I do have three closets in the room I have a walk-in closet right there and behind the camera I have two sliding closets so I didn't need additional space in the form of dressers so yeah I went with those two nightstands absolutely love them I am embarrassed to say you guys it took like six hours for me to put the nightstands together I kept messing up you guys like I would put something on I have to take it off because it was wrong but ultimately it came out really nice and sleek and I'm happy with them you guys and then for the lamps y'all I wanted white and gold lamps I knew that from the get-go and the lamps were a little bit of a trial and error you guys because I did purchase lamps from Amazon but when they came the gold was just very off-putting to me it looked almost like they spray painted the gold and I did not like that so I returned those and then I saw a Facebook ad for rugs USA and realized they had lamps and they had these beautiful lamps you guys the very nice gold base the white lamb shades I was just like yes this is it this is what I want so I went ahead and bought it I will say one of the lamps did come defective but they were super helpful in getting me a new one I alerted them Thursday night that I was missing the harp and finial the piece 
on the inside that holds the lampshade. And you guys, by Sunday, they sent me an entirely new lamp. So technically I have three lamps, even though one is defective. So yeah, guys, I absolutely love them. It just adds a lot of value to the space and the space looks a lot better with those lamps. So now that I'm done with the nightstands and also the lamps, you guys, it was time for me to move on to the wall decor. So this one also was a little bit tricky for me, okay, because the space on the wall, I wanted it covered, but I didn't want it to look super cluttered. I didn't want too much on the wall. I wanted it to still keep that airy feel of the room. So I ended up going to Amazon and getting those three paintings. Y'all, they were so inexpensive. I paid, I think like 49 or maybe $46 for the three paintings. So that's super inexpensive. And y'all, at first when I got them, I was like, I'm not too sure, especially with that gray one in the middle. But y'all, when I finally um, took it out the package and leaned it up on the bed to like get a look of it, I said, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. This is exactly what I was looking for. It literally fits so perfect and I love it like as that focal wall of the room. So now that I'm done with the wall, let's move on to the opposite wall or the wall that's adjacent. So this wall, you guys, um, I didn't know what I wanted to do with that wall. All I knew was for my space, I wanted every wall to be covered, but I wanted it to have a minimalistic type of look. I don't like clutter, you guys. I like a clean space. Everybody that knows me knows I'm super anal about my space being clean. So when it comes to that wall, again, I wanted it covered, but I didn't want it to look cluttered, okay? So I was strolling through TJ Maxx the other day and I saw these floating shelves and I actually thought the shelves would be good for my dining space, but I, when I came home with the shelves, I was like, they would be perfect in this little wall area right here. So I went ahead and I just hung up the shelves and they just looked so nice. <laughs> they were so fabulous. I loved it. And then for the mason jars that you see in the middle with the artificial flowers, y'all, that was supposed to be a whole nother decor piece by itself, but I'm gonna put it up here so that you guys can see how that was supposed to look. But you guys, once I got it, it didn't come with any batteries or anything like that. So I just, threw, well, I didn't throw away the backboards, but I just put the backboards in storage. And then I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna bother with trying to light it up and things like that. So I just used the mason jars and the artificial flowers and I just put them right on the shelf and y'all, it set it off. I just felt like it set it off. Like that just, that pop of green, it really, really just made a difference for the space and I absolutely, absolutely, absolutely love it. It turned out so nice. So moving on to the curtains, you guys. I am a sucker for curtains. I was raised on curtains. My mama loved putting up curtains in her house. I will say my mom taught me a lot. Like my mom, oh, house be looking on point, okay? My mom be having the nice bed sheets, the nice curtains, the nice tablecloths, like I'm used to that. So for my space, I kind of wanted to emulate some of the things she taught me growing up and put it in my space. For my curtains, I also wanted that gold and that white balance. So I went ahead on amazon.com and I got the curtain rods in gold. It came with two in the pack. So I have one in my bedroom and then I also have one in my living room. And then as far as the sheer curtains, you guys, I got that from DD's Discounts. And if you guys have a DD's Discount, 
around in your neighborhood, definitely check it out for reasonably priced household items. These curtains were $5.99, you guys, $5. Like, it doesn't get any better than that. And I really feel like the curtains add like an angelic type of feel to the room. It's literally like my favorite part of my space. I love just how the curtains add like value to the room, balance to the room. And I wanted them to be sheer because I am a person that like a lot of natural lighting. I love to wake up and see the sun. I don't like a lot of darkness and a lot of gloominess. So the curtains allow me to kind of get that sun early in the morning, which I absolutely love, love, love. So moving on from the curtains, you guys, I now have my mirror. So I'm working on the mirror. So I got this mirror from Amazon. The mirror is gorgeous, you guys. Gorgeous. The perfect arch with the gold frames. <sighs> to die for. I love it so much. So when it comes to my bedroom, you guys, this room doesn't have like a television in here. I, I wanted this room to be my sleep sanctuary and also the place that I get dressed, right? So I felt like I needed a standing mirror so when I put on my clothes, I can see how I look from head to toe, you guys. So I definitely needed a big mirror in this space. I will say, you guys, when I first got the mirror and I opened up the box, I was a little taken aback by how light the mirror was um, I felt like the mirror was kind of pricey so I thought it was gonna be just a little bit more sturdy and just a little bit heavier um, but other than that you guys it's a lightweight mirror it's beautiful I love the natural arch of the mirror and I love that it serves its purpose which is making sure that I can see how I look from head to toe and then underneath the mirror you guys I wanted to just set it off a little bit with a fur rug so I decided to go with a white fur rug just for decoration purposes I don't really step on it or anything like that but I feel like it really elevates that area of the room and it really sets it off okay so moving along you guys to the area behind me this is my vanity y'all when I tell you I am in love I am so in love with my vanity. So I've always wanted a vanity area in my room to do my makeup and you know, just to spray my little perfume and things like that. And you guys, I decided that I'm gonna make the vanity the way that I wanna make it. So I was looking online and I saw like a lot of the standard vanities, the white ones with the lights around it. And I just didn't feel like it worked for my space and the level of like luxury that I was going for. So I decided that I would kind of make my own vanity. I saw an inspo picture on Amazon and fell in love and was like, yes, 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 yes. I got to get this. So the vanity is pretty much like a console table, you guys. And on top of it, you see I have the flowers and then I have like my perfumes and everything. And then I also have like my makeup brushes to the side. So I absolutely, absolutely love it. And then I have this cute little chair chair underneath so if I want to do my makeup I can sit and do my makeup I do have a little small mirror that I can put on the console to do my makeup sitting down but generally I do like to do my makeup standing up so that's why I have this beautiful gorgeous mirror behind me you guys when I tell you this mirror is all that and more it's so durable it's heavy it looks amazingly like the gold is kind of rustic but modern it's just it's literally everything so this is one of my favorite parts of the room as well i actually utilize the space like to get ready um for my birthday and do my makeup and everything and i just loved how i felt doing my makeup in my vanity area it is so beautiful i love the way that i feel when i'm sitting on my little bench and doing my makeup or even standing and doing my makeup as far as the little bench you guys i did get this from ross but they do have a ton on amazon originally i bought a bench from amazon but when it came i wasn't really feeling the color all too much it almost looks like a cream mixed with gray it gets 
gave me dirty vibes. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to y'all. It gave me like dirty vibes. So I literally sent that back. And then I was scrolling through Ross the other day and I saw this little chair and I was like, yes, and this is it. It was very inexpensive. It was about $44.99 at Ross. And I love this chair because you can also take off the top of the chair and have like a storage area in the middle. So I absolutely, absolutely love this entire area. And then last but not least, my bed. I wanna talk to you guys about my bed. So I did get my white comforter from Wayfair. I will say once I wash the comforter, I feel like the comforter did shrink. So moving forward, I am gonna get a king comforter so that I'm able to tuck the comforter underneath the mattress to give it that sleek look. And then I got the pillows from Walmart. So the, the fitted sheet and the regular sheet was from Walmart as well. And then also the pillar, <laughs> And also the pillow covers, you guys. I got those from Walmart as well. Y'all, do people not sell like regular white pillows anymore? I literally had to buy the covers and the inserts because I literally was searching high and low but could not find like decent white pillows that already had the inserts. So yeah, I got the pillow covers from walmart.com and then I got the inserts from Amazon. And then as far as the little throw that I have right here, I just wanted to add another level of just luxury to the room. I know you guys might be thinking like, Sash, do you really put this on your bed every day? I sure do. So yes, I have this cream um, throw right here or on the website it says white, but to me it looks kind of cream. But they have this throw right here. Um, I put the throw on the bed and then I have a little flower and a candle from Bath and Body Works on a little tray right here on my bed but yeah guys that is it really for my bedroom makeover please comment down below and let me know what is your favorite section of the room do you like the bed do you like the vanity area do you like the standing mirror let me know definitely thumbs up this video if you like it you guys' comments and thumbs up does help youtube to push my videos out a lot more so definitely show your girl some love also if you guys want to see me like transform my living room, let me know as well. I do have some pieces in the living room, but I do need to add like decor pieces to just elevate the look of the living room. But I am going to be taking my, my time with the living room area. But if you guys want to see that as well, comment living room down below so that I know that that is something that you guys would like to see. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching as always. I love you. Thank you for your support. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Your place is my place, no My place is your place, let's face it Baby, you know all the places Places My place is your place, my place Keep to the lock, we in our own zone Make yourself at home, get to know mine On the inside, you can meet it